Nikki and back with part three. So just a quick uh, intro again, just here to share all the messages I get from my higher self, from your higher self, from everyone who's bringing us back together <coughs> to eternal love, to eternal love for ourselves, each other and to our divine loves. Right, so, I mean just, I've literally just done this just this second, so this is bonkers. Uh, I just googled Saint Germain because I was just like, oh, I just want to check because in the last video, it, I just noticed about the Saint Germain reference in there. So I google it, bear in mind, we've been talking about the dolphins today. What comes up? The dolphin. Okay? <laughs> I mean, the dolphin collective as well, here. <coughs> <coughs> dolphin collective, right? No, I have no idea what that is, but I suppose I'm going to have to go and research that now. But, and this article is around, it's a channeled message from Saint Germain saying about the differences between the twin flames and uh, twin soul and yada, yada, yada. So, just to say again that this is, you know, he is here guiding us home all the way as well. So, uh, you know, just, you, this is, look, the love of the twin flames is the strongest love possible to instigate all of this. You create from love. Right, which is exactly what we've been saying. We create from love because the magic, when you hold that magic in your heart, it creates magic all over your life, right? And that's what we're here to do, to raise the planet in love and light and to do it now. All right, so I was going to say about the healing. So the other thing that I've seen has been about um, the divine masculine um, being frightened to what I'm seeing is that they're blindfolded basically the divine masculines are blindfolded and the di divine feminines are guiding them the way so um and what they're doing is they're elevating each other higher and higher because what they have to do is the divine feminines need to guide them and they need to be very strong in their own power to be able to guide them because the person, the divine masculine is blindfolded. So that's incredibly symbolic, right? Just think about that. That's exactly what we're doing. We are guiding by managing our own energies and we're managing them through their um, elevation upwards. And in one particular person's healing, I actually saw them as dancers and they were ballet dancers. And so the, the way I saw it is that initially when they first started practicing, he could only lift her up a tiny bit, but under her instruction, he was ending up, you know, like doing the ballet lifts and pirouetting and doing all that stuff in the air. And so at the very end, in, in, in the healings that I've seen, at the very end, they have to take their blindfolds off. And they're very frightened to do that because suddenly they have to see the truth, right? And if you see the truth, then there's that element of, well, if I see it, maybe I can lose it. Whereas if I'm in the dark, then I don't have that, you know, although it's, it's comfortably numb, I don't have the feeling of loss, right? Because I'm terrified of losing it. So, so it's a very strong analogy, I, and it's very clear to me, because when I see that, then I can understand exactly the feeling of how they're feeling. So, um, and, but, but what has happened in both is that the, the blindfolds come off, right? Because obviously that, but that, that has been healed on an energetic level at some point. Now, how long that takes to filter through into the physical reality, you know, that's, that's energy and that's, you know, there is no sense of time. That's why you have to believe in your own divine journey and trust that every single step you take on your path is for your highest good. As long as you're setting that intent every single day to raise the planet in love and light, to live in golden stardust, to live your highest and best path for all involved. As long as you do that, then you know without doubt that every step that is going, uh, every piece of the jigsaw in your puzzle is bringing you into your reunion, right? Even though it might look turbulent. What have I been saying? Ride the wave. Ride the wave, look at it for what it is and ride it. All right, so just amazing because that analogy has been really beautiful because then what happens is, 
um, once you write, well, so another, so I'm just going to read out the song to Comfortably Numb, the words to Comfortably Numb, and then I'm going to show you this video as well. So the Comfortably Numb, and it's definitely what I can see. So this is, again, that fear of, it's the fear of taking the blindfold off, although no matter, because they've elevated, right, they've got to, they've, they've, uh, their energies are uplifting, so they know that they need to move out of the situations that they're in. But it's really scary to take that blindfold off. Because then, you know, once you take the blindfold off, there's no going back, right? And so that's why it's a big, that's why that I sense that there's like this real kind of anxiety and fear because what happens if they go for it? And then they experience this amazing thing and then it, they feel like it's going to be taken away. And remember, when I say they, it's a mirror of you, right? So that's why it's stuff that we need to clear. Everyone needs to clear it. It's a collective energy. So I'm just going to read this because, again, it is, it's, it just needs to come out today. So, hello. Is there anybody in there? Just nod if you can hear me. Is there anyone at home? Come on now, I hear you're feeling down. Well, I can ease your pain and get you on your feet again. Relax, I'll need some information first. Just the basic facts. Can you show me where it hurts? There is no pain you are receding. A distant ship smoke on the horizon. You are only coming through in waves. Your lips move, but I can't hear what you're saying. When I was a child, I had a fever. My hands felt just like two balloons. Now I've got that feeling once again. I can't explain. You would not understand. This is not how I am. I have become comfortably numb. I have become comfortably numb. Okay, just a little pinprick. There'll be no more. Ah, <laughs> but you may feel a little sick. Can you stand up? I do believe it's working. Good. That'll keep you going through the show. Come on, it's, oh my God, it's time to go. No way, it's about talking about the show. And I saw these two people dancing in a show. No way. There is no pain you are receding, a distant ship smoke on the horizon. The, you are only coming through in waves. Your lips move, but I can't hear what you're saying. When I was a child, I caught a fleeting glitz, glimpse out of the corner of my eye. I turned to look, but it was gone. I cannot put my finger on it now. The child is grown. The dream is gone. I have become comfortably numb. Right. So this is this is this part of the message to say that this is what we need to release, right? It's a collective energy that is mirroring to each other. So release all fears, all pain, all anxieties about not just the abandonment, it's the disbelief that this can be true, right? It's the disbelief to say this is too good to be true this can't happen to me, it will be taken away from me, right? That is what you've got to clear. So go within, ask to clear all of this disbelief, all of this abandonment, all of this feeling of, it's too good to be true, it'll never happen, I can't be with this person because it's just too amazing. This is just too crazy, it's too wonderful. This is too much of a fairy tale. All of those, say all of those things out loud and say, I release them, I release all of the energies that are around disbelief, fear, it's a fairy tale, everything. I let it go. I let it go across all time, dimensional spaces and realities. And I do that a million, a zillion times over, right? And to go for a walk and imagine every single step you say, take, you're releasing those. You're releasing the disbelief, the fear, the, th the thing that it can never happen, it can't last, I'm not good enough, I'm not this, I'm not that. All of the stuff, it will never last, right? It can't happen, it's too good. Release, release, release. And step into your truth. With every step you take, you get to go further onto your golden path. And you leave behind all fears, worries, anxieties, abandonment, pain. It's too good to be true. All right, so I guess I'm gonna have to do another one, but this is just a perfect message because this is definitely what I'm seeing in healings coming through. <coughs> all right, well, Thank you so much. I'm doing a special offer on Hooning, only £20 of January because I want to help as much people as possible. If you want to join the Crystal Grid, all of the details are in the link. Please do contact me. I 
very much want to help as many people as I can because it is truly a wonderful journey. All right, thank you. Bye.